Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you about the dilemmas of collecting 4K Blu-ray and why I feel it's putting a lot of new collectors off even wanting to start their collections. So obviously, look, 4K is the new format. It's the new thing. It's the new car smell, if you say that still. It is the new format. And obviously, a lot more movies are starting to come out on 4K now at great cost. Now, obviously, it's not too great, but, you know, a, a new collector might look at this and say, okay, why am I going to pay, why am I going to pay 60 bucks in, a, this is Australia, 64 bucks or something. Why would I pay 64 bucks for the mist on 4K when I can get a Blu-ray copy for $5? And it's everyone, all the new collectors on YouTube will say, oh, the quality, you need to have the new quality. It's got to be beautiful. It's got to be great. It's got to be whatever. It's got to be pristine. It's film print. It looks film print. Reference quality. They throw all these buzzwords at you, other YouTubers, and I feel that's wrong. And this is the dilemma with 4K Blu-ray, because most collectors are like, oh, I don't want to buy a Blu-ray if it's if it's kind of crappy now. I don't want to buy a 4 I don't want to buy a, uh, a Blu-ray copy if the 4K is there, but I don't want to kind of pay that much for a 4K. That's the dilemma we're in. And let me say to the new collectors out there watching this video who found it and are looking at me for advice. There is no reason why Blu-ray is bad. There is no reason why DVD is bad. There is no reason why VHS is bad, if that's your preferred format. There is no reason why Laserdisc or HD DVD or any other format is bad. If it's your preferred format and you're buying the physical media associated with that format, there is no reason why you, as the individual, you, not, not them the YouTubers over there, not the YouTubers telling you you need to go 4K, you, the buyer who's going to consume this media, there is no reason why you should have to listen to the four, the, like all the YouTubers saying, buy 4K, buy 4K, buy 4K. I mean, look, it looks great. I will say there are a lot of great transfers. There are also a lot of ungreat transfers like um, Terminator 2, as I've said. But to say like, okay, just because a 4K copy exists doesn't mean you need to have it. And look, I am of the mindset that you can choose your own experience with this, with physical media collecting. If all you can afford is DVD and you can get it on the secondhand market, always double check that the discs aren't scratched if you're buying secondhand, just quickly pull it out and have a quick look. But if you, if that's all you can afford and you want to collect physical media, there is nothing wrong with DVD. As long as you don't try to sharpen it up to 4K or whatever, if you've got a 4K TV, don't try to turn the TV sharpening up to all the way to 100 and expect it to look like a 4K Blu-ray. It's not going to look like that. But if you leave it at zero sharpness and you make it just like, make it suit you. Or if you watch it on an old school plasma or an old school CRT, it's still going to look great. Like, there is nothing wrong with these formats. It's just a matter of we live in a day and age where technology is moving so fast and we feel like we need to adopt the new hotness. We need to adopt the new... Um, the new format. We must adopt the new one. We must make physical, physical media. We must make physical media survive. And yes, if no one buys 4K, 4K will die. Like we get it. it it's 1.7 or 1.8% of the market or something. And if we don't support it, then phys retailers might say, oh, no one's buying 4K. Why would we even release a 4K? Well, that's the dilemma. The consumer at the end determines what they're comfortable with buying. And 4K Blu-ray is starting to drop now. It's starting to really come down in price. So it's beginning to get a lot more new collectors to it because the price can be justified at a lower rate. But, look, there is no reason why Blu-ray is bad. There is there's no reason why you can't just buy Blu-rays. On the second-hand market, Blu-rays are a lot more, um, like, a lot more strengthy than a DVD, so they don't maintain a lot of, di a lot of scratches. And so a lot of Blu-rays that I bought in the early days were secondhand, and I would always check them for scratches. They were always pretty pristine because it's very hard to scratch a Blu-ray. I mean, unless you're really trying or using it as a coaster or something, it's really hard to scratch a Blu-ray. But there is no reason why Blu-ray is um, bad. Like, you can easily pick a Blu-ray copy over a 4K. There are even people who say that stuff like Lord of the Rings... Yes, it looks great on 4K. Don't get me wrong. It looks fantastic on 4K. 
But there was DNR done to that, and people will have the arguments, I'm sure, and I've heard a couple of people say this, they prefer the DVD copy over the even the Blu-ray. And there is nothing wrong with that. It is preference. It is not about you need to keep up with me or keep up with films at home or keep up with all these other all these other people in the space trying to tell you that, hey, this is great and look how good um look how good this looks. And there's people pooing all over this one at the moment on YouTube. I haven't watched it. This is another thing. If you if you don't think this is the copy for you, if you've watched YouTube clips and say, okay, cool, I don't really know if I want to pick that up, don't pick it up. There is a DVD copy that you can easily get, and it's probably a lot cheaper than trying to get this. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not going to make any determinations on the quality of this until I've laid my own eyes on it, and that's why I have bought it, because I wanted to see that I'm relaying the right information. So I haven't watched this yet, but I do plan on watching it, and I will do a review on it at some point. But to say that... Look, if I saw, if I heard from all my, if I was going off all the YouTubers and I was like, oh, okay, maybe I don't want to buy that. There is no reason why the DVD version is bad. DVD is still one of the, I think it's still the top selling physical media format in the world. DVD is not bad. Blu-ray is not bad either. Or even, look, horror fans will say VHS. There is no reason why a VHS copy is bad at all either. If you're watching on a CRT, now obviously it's going to look dated if you're trying to watch it on a 4K display with sharpness turned up all the way. But if you put this on a CRT TV or even a, a 1080p uh, plasma or something, this will look great. Like, as long as you have reservations and know what you're buying and have, are, like, happy with what you're buying, then, um, yeah. Let's just put that back over there. There we go. But you've got to have reservations about this stuff. You need to be aware that, okay, you're buying a DVD. I've been collecting uh, DVD purchases for all my wrestling events up until WWE stopped it late last year. Now, I was also collecting particular um, Blu-rays. So, like, I would collect all the WrestleManias on Blu-ray. I will collect all the Royal Rumbles on Blu-ray. Survivor Series and S SummerSlam I wouldn't really care about. But then I'd have a few select ones here and there. But my two main ones were always Royal Rumble and Mania. Like, as long as I had them two on Blu-ray, I'm happy. But they've announced they've stopped that. And they've also stopped DVD production. But for a lot of my, I have the whole year for 2023, whole year for 2022, backwards, so forth. And the whole reason for that is that it is not bad. It's just, I want to have a copy of this in case the network ever goes down or in case it's sold and it's sold to TKO now and they've got the Netflix deal. But what, how's Netflix going to edit it? But this is the thing. I am very much of, I want to own a physical copy, a physical representation of what it is. And the whole thing is that we live in a day and age that everything has to be the new hotness. Everything has to be the new format. Everything has to be on 4K. Everything has to be the new, new, new. There's nothing wrong with the old versions. I can pull a copy of, um, let's see here. I can pull a copy of Queen of the Damned, which this movie got me through some tough times. Like this was a, I turned this movie a lot when I was depressed in 20, was it 2008, 2009, somewhere around there. I turned to this movie a lot when I was depressed and I was like, because uh, Lestat in this movie is, um, he has the mentality of like someone gone through depression almost. And yeah, there's no reason why this is a bad copy. If they come out with 4K of this, yes, I'll probably pick it up on 4K. But there is no reason why this is bad. I mean, there are people who say, oh, but there's transfers that are bad from the get-go. Yes, there are. Don't buy it then. And this is the thing. You don't have to compete. Just because I have a collection like this and you feel inspired to start your collection doesn't mean you need to go out and say, okay, I need to spend, what's something here I spent a stupid amount on? It's at the top, I'm not going, I'm not getting it down, but there's no reason why you have to collect Columbia Classics. Just because I have it in my collection doesn't mean you need to have it in your collection. And if you feel passionate about having it in your collection, then look at the cost and say, okay, well, I feel comfortable paying this cost. And if you can't justify it, don't buy it. It's very simple. Don't worry about if studios are going to do what they're going to do. If they if they say, hey, no one's buying physical media, no one's buying this release, uh, it's, we don't really want it, we're not going to manufacture 4K anymore. If studios are doing that, that's none of your business. You just collect because you, you, you want to own that movie. Not them, not the YouTubers. You are collecting because you want it. And that is why I feel the need to make this video because so often we're hearing from YouTubers, go ahead and collect 4K and this has looked better than ever. And frame by frame, you can see all the resolution in this shot. And if you go frame by frame and look at this little detail compared to this little detail, 
just it's about enjoying the movie. We somehow we've lost track of enjoying movies for quality and frame by frame and how is this a good transfer? Isn't it a good transfer? Like if I pop this in my player, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna be a bit annoyed if I see wax figure Arnold Schwarzenegger like I did in Terminator, or if they've changed colours significantly. But at the end of the day, if I enjoy this copy and I've decided, okay, it has some flaws, but I kind of enjoy watching it, then I'll make that call on that day and say, okay, I don't really want to watch the Blue, uh, the DVD copy anymore. I think this is the definitive way to watch it. I can't say that yet because I haven't watched it, but if I made that call and I watched it and I my own eyes verified that that was the copy I want to watch. Well, that's the thing. It's like we need to stop... We need to stop relying on what others tell us and we need to just do what we feel at heart is best for us. And you might say, oh, but I don't want to go out and buy a Blu-ray unless I'm 100% sure. Don't. Nine times out of ten... The stuff you see on digital, like iTunes or even like the streamers like Netflix or Disney, like I think True Lies is on Disney now in 4K. There's no reason why you can't watch the, ten, uh, the 4K resolution version on Disney Plus and then make the determination whether you want to have the Blu-ray representation of that physical, um, a physical representation of that movie in your collection. Make that determination first, then decide if you want to buy it or not. There is nothing wrong with that. But don't, don't be swayed by collectors telling you on YouTube that you need to be collecting everything and you need to run it on buy 4K and if you're not collecting the latest format, then whatever. And Jeff from Films at Home, because he's one of the people who inspired me to really look at, like, starting this channel. That's why I mention him a lot in my videos because he was in the space that I'm in now, the physical media space. He's like the leader. He's like, he gets all this information. He does all this other stuff. He does really good videos as well. But he has the same mentality. Don't try to keep up with us. Like, don't try to keep up with others. You Collect because you love it and because you want to have a representation of something you love in your collection ready accessible. Don't collect because you want to keep up with us or, like, try to collect this because it looks cool. Now, it does look cool, but don't get me wrong. If you can't justify the cost and you can't justify the space and you're just collecting because, because YouTube has told you to, you're collecting for the wrong reasons. And at the end of the day, you're going to hate it because it's not really who you are. You might only like five of these movies. So why would you have 50 of them if you only like five of them? And also, why would you own them on 4K when the Blu-ray works fine for you? There is no reason to upgrade if you are happy with the Blu-ray copy. Just because the new format is there doesn't mean you need to buy the new format. And yes, studios, as I've said many, many times during this video already, Studios will do whatever they're going to do. If they need to cancel 4K distribution or whatever, or get out of the Blu-ray game like Disney did it or whatever, it's not your problem. To tell you the truth, there are enough Disney movies out there on other formats that even if Disney went under tomorrow, like you can still pick up all your favorite Disney movies on Blu-ray, on DVD, on Laserdisc, on VHS, on Betamax. I don't know if they did Betamax, but you know, there is enough other formats out there that if they got out of the physical media game like they did and said, we're not making anything else or Sony's going to do it all, you can still get all the favourite movies you want. I'm just saying. Blu-ray's out there. DVD's out there. I've got a box set up there, uh, Disney Classics. I can't show it right now, but it's up there. I'll show it at the end of this video. I'll end this video on the box set of Disney if I can get it down. It's pretty high up. But there is an idea that just because others are collecting it in the same space that you are a fan of, it means that you need to collect it as well. And that is a misconception. That is so wrong. And you should collect because you love it. Not because others are inspiring you to collect 4K or want you to collect 4K or saying the space will go belly up if no one supports this format. Cool, let it go belly up. I don't care. Arrow's Videos is still releasing things. Kino Lorber is still releasing things. Half the time they do it better than the studios anyway. So... If Warner Brothers want to get out of physical meter or Disney or whoever, so what? The thing is, there are enough other formats to collect their media on. And I'm going to end it right here. I will stand up and show this Disney movie box anyways. So let's uh, tilt this up because I'm going to stand up and I'm going to show you this box. One second, let's go up there. And I'm going to stand up because I'm going to show you the box. I'm going to actually get it down from up there and show you what it looks like. So there we go. Let's... Uh... Oh, there's a lot of things against it. It's right next to Buffy. Any Buffy fans out there? Let's go very carefully. Very, very carefully. And 
let's, uh, I'm gonna come around here, because I'm gonna do it in front of the wrestling collection and finish this off in front of the wrestling. WrestleMania season after all, I'm wearing a Roman Reigns shirt, so yeah. Okay, don't judge me. Okay, let's put the microphone there, and let's have a look at this Disney box set. Disney Classics. Let's get the glare off that. This is a Blu-ray of, um, I'm just gonna put the microphone on my I'm just going to put this microphone on my shirt so you can actually properly hear me. This is a Rode microphone, by the way, if anyone's wondering what I'm actually using. It is actually a Rode microphone. But I got rid of the mic uh, guard on it. The, I don't call it a dead cat. It's whatever. But, yes. This Disney box set is fantastic. And I haven't opened it because it's a collector's item. But, you know, I've, the fact that I have 57 movies in this, Disney movies... I know that I'm never going to run out of Disney movies to watch. I've got, I've got a collection of Disney. And if you want to see it, if you want to see what movies this has on it, um, I'm trying to get that glare off. There you go. If you could, if you pause this and make it 4K resolution, you can read all that. And yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. I'll come back a bit so you can get a bit more resolution out of it. There you go. But the fact that Disney have that box set and. Don't get me wrong, they've done a new box set with Pixar in it. So there is a new box set out there, but I didn't feel the need to go out and buy the new box set because, come around here, I've got all the Pixar movies down here. Bang. I've got a, I've got a lot of Disney movies up here. I've got a, a lot of Disney and Pixar down the bottom as well on Blu-ray. So there is no need for me to actually go out and buy the new box set. And I'm happy with this box set. This box set right here. So yes, let me come back around here and we'll end it. You can see my little mic guard on the table. I think I got that from Kmart, which Kmart Australia, not Kmart US. I don't even know if there is a Kmart in the US. So yes, physical media will always have a place and there is nothing wrong with collecting the older versions. This is Blu-ray. So if I wanted to watch Disney movies, I mean, I have some 4K ones, obviously over here, I've got a lot of Disney, but the fact that I've also got it on Blu-ray, here we go. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. And you should be collecting because you love it. And there is no reason why older formats can't work for you. If you can only afford DVD, DVD is great as well. There's also certain cuts on DVD that haven't come out to Blu-ray. So collect because you love it. That's all I'll end on. Collect because you love it. Not because another collector is saying you need to. And as always, like, subscribe, drop a comment, notify, I don't know what else. I don't know. Steamboat Willie's in the public domain now. Steamboat Willie. Amazing. But, yeah. <laughs> Everything's going to be in the public domain eventually, but, yeah. This box set looks amazing, and I don't think I'll ever open it, but you never know. I might, hit, I might get to that point one day where I'm just like, who cares? It's mine. I'm never selling it. It's just, I'll open it and watch it. I don't know. It's my choice. It's, it's mine. I own it. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.